Hello, I'll show you how to install and configure AirPrint Activator version 3.0. You simply launch the installer by double clicking on the icon and then you click on the install button. As you can see, the application is being installed. Once it's done, you get a message to the effect that the application was successfully installed and then you can click OK to close the uh, window and the preference pane will be uh, brought to the front. Doing this, you'll see that now you get the preference pane for AirPort Activator to be shown on the screen. The thing you have to do to turn it on is simply click the on-off switch to on and here we go. The printers that your Mac is currently advertising will show on the screen. So as you can see right now, I've got two printers advertised, uh, Office Jet and iPrint PDF. You'll also notice something new in version three is that there is now a status bar icon that depicts when AirPrint Activator is actually running and through which you can also get a list of all of the printers being advertised by AirPrint Activator. You can hide the icon if you want. If you don't want to see the icon in the menu bar, you can simply click on show in menu bar to turn it off. And now the icon is gone. But for the presentation here, I'll keep the icon to be shown on the menu bar. So click back and the icon will be shown. If, for example, you close the preference pane and you want to go back to look at something and you want to go back to the preference pane of AirPrint Activator, simply click on the icon and click Open AirPrint Activator. This will bring back the preference pane where you can then turn it off again or simply hide the preference uh, icon in the menu bar. You may actually get a message if, for example, you were not already sharing any printers on your system, which I'm going to simulate here by taking off printer sharing. Now, printer sharing uh, is no longer active on my system. So as you are going to see, there is no printer advertised in AirPrint Activator. If you were to go back to the AirPrint Activator preference, you will now get a message that tells you that the printer service does not appear to be running and it instructs you to go back and turn it on if you want AirPrint Activator to function properly. So to do that, you just do what I did. You go back here, click on the sharing icon and you turn printer sharing on, just like that. And from now on, the printer sharing will be back on and we can see that now that the, Air, that the printers are listed again in the list. Another neat feature that is new to AirPrint Activator version 3 is the Assistant. If you were to have issues, some printers doesn't, don't work, for example, as you would expect, you could try to click on the Assistant and then click on Feedback, which will then take you to the email application and will produce a copy of all the printers running in your system and will actually present them to us so that we can actually work uh, and help support uh, you better so we can get more details about what type of printers are running on your system and whatnot. So let's close this for now. And then when you're done, you just click done and the email will be sent to the support account of netputing.com so that we can have a look at what's going on with uh, your particular setup. There is no guarantee we will be able to fix it, but hopefully it's not going to be an issue. So I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, quick enough and short enough to get you going. Um, again, thank you very much for using AirPrint Activator.